We got it today. We got information, finally. And it's, 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 ooh, it, it's a lot. Hey dudes, how you doing? It's Saint. Remember that if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and give this little puppy a like. Ooh, there's a lot to cover, man. There's so much to cover. I've got four tabs open. <laughs> of just content. So let's uh, let's get into this. Let's start with what Mac Walters said about the Legendary Edition. We obviously, we got a small reveal trailer, not too long, but long enough. We've got pictures, we've got the works. The way Mac Walters describes working with the Mass Effect Legendary Edition is, we talk about it sort of like we're restoring a beautiful beloved car, but then it quickly turned into, sure, if that car had been buried in cement and every time you try to clear off some of the cement, you were worried about dinging the paint or ripping off a mirror. For all of you that are wondering when the Legendary Edition is coming out, it is coming out May 14th, for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. The Verge says it's gonna be backwards compatible. I think that's forwards compatible with PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. And this includes over 40 DLC, 4K, 60 FPS, HDR. We got the works in terms of how this puppy is gonna run. Something we really hoped wouldn't happen, but at the end we knew it was gonna happen. Nothing in this story is changing at all. Not even the very controversial ending. Something we knew kind of that was going to happen, but we still had that glimmer of hope where you're like, okay, maybe it's not going to happen. Well, it did. Walter said that the extended cut was really that opportunity for us to add a little bit more love and a little bit more context around the ending. Ah. Uh... I don't know if they're doing the smart thing here. Uh, we'll we'll get into those conclusions later. In this new remaster, all three games will be accessible through the main menu. You just open the menu and you choose one, two, or three. Okay, so we're giving all the general ideas, right? Where, where are the details? Where is the nitty gritty? Okay, so we got some interesting improvements to be shown here other than the obvious 4K 60 FPS being an improvement. There's the ability to skip through elevator rides in Mass Effect 1. They are making the Mako a lot easier to control. They're overhauling the look of entire levels, for example, Eden Prime. Now, if you want to know the extent of how improved these textures really are, an AI up-res program was used to enhance the texture resolution by as much as 16 times. And Bioware went and touched up virtually every enemy gun and piece of armor across the first two games and much of the third. Future me here, I'm sorry, I missed some details, and I missed a pretty important one that I want to add. <laughs> There's one particular criticism I had of the original trilogy that talked about class restrictions on using weapons. Well, that's not going to be a thing anymore. You can use any weapon that you'd like. You may not be able to specialize in it, but you can use any weapon you'd like without being penalized for it. So this is super important to me because I hated being a Vanguard with a little pistol that I could only shoot 20 times and then, oop, I'm out of ammo. Now I guess I have to use this submachine gun that can't point for sh So that has me very excited. You will continue with your regular programming. If we go to something that I think is pretty important for anyone that likes playing RPGs, customization options, right? You like to feel like you are in the boots of Commander Shepard. Well, turns out there's going to be unified customization across the three games. There are going to be some new haircuts. There are going to be more extensive options in terms of being able to customize your skin color. And they wanted to make it clear that they are specifically focused on improving black customization options, which is, I know, important for a lot of people. A good example of the kind of new haircut kind of deals that we are dealing with is a faded cut is going to have like some sci-fi little, little cut-ins in there. Like, I, I think it's cool. I think that's going to look really nice. And there's one huge change that we were wondering with Nico if it was going to happen, and it did. The model for Mass Effect 3, female Shepard particularly, she is going to be included 
in Mass Effect 1. So that is really important. That by far is the best female Shepard model you can get. In other news, there are also going to be a lot of bug fixes that they wanted to fix from the original trilogy. That's a positive thing, considering, yes, these games already go through a whole bug squashing process, right? And now they're going through it again. So it kind of is like you had multiple filters. So it's really nice to be able to play these games with the least amount of bugs possible, which is what they're saying that they have done. This is a lot. This is so much. And to me, it ties into what I said yesterday or even earlier today because the idea was to put it up yesterday i messed up so it was put today but my idea behind that was to say this is not going to be a remake but it's not just going to be a simple remaster either and it seems like it really isn't if you take a look at the trailer you can clearly see how much mass effect one particularly has changed like it is so revamped the part that i find a little difficult is that i did notice more detail in mass effect one mainly because they had to redo a lot more and even though they're using unreal engine 3 not unreal engine 4 to do all these things you can kind of still tell that mass effect one was the one they did most work on i, I don't mean it in a bad way the three games look great, but you can definitely see a major improvement in the original Mass Effect. And being able to shoot more comfortably and use the Mako more comfortably, I think that's going to be a huge win. New players are going to be able to play this in an insane way that we didn't get to play it when we started playing. Okay, so what am I thinking? Powers are going to be the same. Uh, they would mention it like th it's a lot of information. They would have said something about it I'm worried about the ending and I'm not saying it because I necessarily hate it I just think it's mediocre as I have said multiple times before my problem with the ending is I don't know in what position that will put Bioware because I remember the backlash the ending had this could just go one of two ways Either people will be more calm about it now that most have already played this or a new wave of people will be bothered by the way this trilogy ended. It's really going to be interesting and a little frightening to see how people are going to react to the Mass Effect 3 ending. Because even if you think that, oh yeah, I got over it, you live it again and you get angry again. I'm excited. I, I really want to play this, even though it kind of sucks that they didn't do anything to the ending. I know this is what, I mean, it was the obvious thing that was going to happen, right? But it still sucks. You know, I still had that little glimmer of hope being like, okay, maybe, maybe they add a little scene or two. They didn't. So, you know, sucks to be us. But no need to be a negative Nancy. This whole experience is coming with a lot of improvements, with a lot of beautiful ways to experience these three games again and we have to appreciate that too let me know what you guys think are you more excited now that there's pictures and now that there's a little slice of gameplay here and there how you guys are feeling about this i'm feeling positive i'm i am leaning more towards the feeling excited feeling positive part of the spectrum but i am worried about how the fans and how the new players will react to this ending all over again because things could turn ugly really quick and we all know how many critical thinkers we have in the community nowadays that could just botch this from the get-go let's hope that's not the case leave a like subscribe hit that notification bell i upload videos every single week about tech or gaming remember to follow me on instagram twitter and twitch at st wolven and join the pack on discord thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have a good one bye bye